In this video, we're going to compare the Apple Magic Keyboard with Touch ID to the Logitech MX Keys Mini. These are two great wireless keyboards that work fantastic on Mac computers. And they have several differences, but they also have a very similar typing experience. And in this video, we're going to discuss the differences between these keyboards and in which case I would choose to buy the Logitech keyboard and the Apple keyboard. These are both scissor switch keyboards that offer a quick and quiet typing experience. The keys on both of these are very easy to type on, although the Logitech MX Keys Mini does give you a little divot in the keys for your finger to go in and it has a little bit more key travel so you get just a little bit more feedback as you type. The Apple Magic Keyboard is also just as fast to type on and it feels a little bit more familiar if you're already using an Apple keyboard that's built into your MacBook Pro because the layout is completely identical and all the function buttons do the exact same thing. Apple Magic Keyboard uses Lightning to recharge and pair to a computer, and the Logitech MX Keys Mini uses USB-C to recharge. So the USB-C is a little bit better because it's a more versatile connector than just the Lightning. The MX Keys Mini is also designed to be used with a variety of devices because there's three dedicated device pairing buttons on them. So you can easily put the keyboard into Bluetooth pairing mode, and you can change from one device to the next just by pressing and holding the device pairing buttons for just a second. Then you can change quickly from using this with a computer to an iPad or even back and forth between multiple computers at the same time. If you want to repair the Apple Magic Keyboard to a different computer, you need to get out the USB-C to lightning cable, plug it into the computer, and then it'll be paired wirelessly after that. But the annoying thing about this is if you want to use it with an iPad, you have to shut the keyboard off and on, go into Bluetooth settings, and then pair it then. And if you want to get it back on the computer later, you have to pull out your USB-C to lightning cable again to repair it. And then the next time you go to use the Magic Keyboard on an iPad, you actually have to forget it from the Bluetooth settings. So using the Magic Keyboard with an iPad or with multiple devices can be a huge pain and is nowhere near as easy as the Logitech MX Keys Mini. But the dedicated device pairing buttons on the MX Keys Mini does make you lose some of the dedicated functions that Apple's Magic Keyboard has. Like you can't adjust the screen brightness on the MX Keys Mini unless you get into the Logi Options Plus app and reprogram what the different buttons on top of the keyboard do. This is cool though because you can make those buttons do whatever shortcuts you want and they can even be application specific shortcuts. So if you're using Photoshop or Final Cut, then F6 can do something different than if you're just using Safari. Another big difference between these keyboards is the function and control buttons are opposite on the Logitech of what they are on the Apple keyboard. Now Logitech does have an MX Keys Mini for Mac that fixes this issue and makes it perfectly match the Mac keyboard, but then it's not as good of a keyboard for using with Windows computers. I think the biggest strength of the MX Keys Mini is it's designed to be used with a bunch of different devices, while the Apple Magic Keyboard with Touch ID is really designed to live with just one computer at a time. If we continue to compare the keys on these keyboards, the key sizes are similar, although the Logitech has smaller function buttons. The Logitech also has all half size arrow keys, while the Apple Magic Keyboard with Touch ID has a full size left and right arrow and half size up and down arrows. Additionally, the escape button is bigger on the Magic Keyboard, and you also get slightly bigger command buttons on the Magic Keyboard as well. I find that the MX Keys Mini gives you better typing experience with more key travel, but the Apple Magic Keyboard is no slouch either in the typing department. It's equally smooth just with less travel. The keyboards also sit at a slightly different angle. The Magic Keyboard has a shallower angle, while the MX Keys Mini sits at a higher angle, which makes it take up more space if you're storing it, but it's a little bit more comfortable to type on for your wrists. The keyboards are a similar size, but the Magic Keyboard is definitely both smaller and lighter and easier to transport because of that smaller size. The MX Keys Mini also has a really great feature that the Magic Keyboard does not have, which is the backlight. And the backlight definitely reduces your wireless battery life, but it looks really cool and is super easy to recharge with USB-C, so I really enjoy using the backlight. But the Magic Keyboard with Touch ID gives you the Touch ID button, which can be useful for unlocking your computer, making purchases on the App Store, using iCloud Keychain, and also using Apple Pay and using your wallet through the computer as well, so you can pay for purchases. If you're trying to decide which keyboard to buy, I think it's pretty easy. Buy the Magic Keyboard with Touch ID if you want Touch ID and if you want the layout to perfectly match what your Apple computers use. 
I would also buy one of the Magic Keyboards if you really enjoy changing your screen brightness with the function buttons and you don't want to reprogram what the buttons do. I would stay away from it though if you really want to use it with a bunch of different devices without using the lightning cable because it's just not as fast and seamless of an experience to change it between computers. If you want to save a little money, you can also choose to buy the Magic Keyboard without Touch ID, and then it's only $100 instead of $150. The Apple Magic Keyboard with Touch ID or the standard Apple Magic Keyboard is only available in silver and white, whereas the Logitech MX Keys Mini is available in black, graphite, pale gray, and rose, so you get way more color choices with the MX Keys Mini. I would choose to buy the MX Keys Mini if you want to use this keyboard with multiple computers, iPads, and other devices because the device pairing buttons are so easy to work with versus having to dig out a cable and forget devices every time you want to change pairing with the Apple Magic Keyboard. I also do really appreciate the backlight on the MX Keys Mini. If you have any other questions about the differences between these two keyboards, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Also, if you're interested in buying a Magic Keyboard with Touch ID, or the MX Keys Mini, I have links for both of them in the description below. Also check out my dedicated reviews for both of these keyboards where we go even more into depth on all the different features they have to offer. Like this video, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content.